Hello everyone, this is the Outside World Entertainment, Shaker and Davey Cooking Channel. And today we are making a spring kuras stew or stew spring kuras, anyone you can call it. We grated some coconut to make fresh coconut milk. A nice view of the back, snow on the ground. This is winter time, now we get the grated coconut. And we will soak this grated coconut in water for approximately 20 minutes. So we get nice fresh coconut to cook this too. Here we have the fish and we will add some salt and lemon juice to wash it. And salt and lemon juice will also act as a seasoning to the fish. We wash it clean. And now we are ready for the seasoning of the fish by adding some salt. Turmeric powder. A bit of chopped onion, add some crushed garlic and some crushed ginger, a shake of black pepper and we mix it up well and cover it and leave it for approximately 20 minutes to marinate. Red tomatoes. Chop it up. We chop up some green onion. Also some green cilantro. onion. One medium onion. And now we have our fresh ingredients to cook. Our stew. Uh, now we're frying the fish, the spring kuras, and actually we shallow fry it. A little brown, not too brown, and here we have our fried fish. cooking oil into the pot, let it get hot, and here we go, in goes chopped onion, and we let this onion fry into the hot cooking oil, for maybe 30 seconds, before we add other ingredients. In goes chopped garlic or crushed garlic. Fry these two together. Wow, I can get the aroma of these two ingredients. Now we'll add some crushed ginger and crushed tomato. green onion cilantro all these we don't we have a lot of thyme in hand and now we'll add some thyme leaves for flavor flavoring of this stew sauce fresh ingredients we add a shake of 
black pepper. A pinch of salt. Green mangoes for the soury flavor. And weary weary pepper. Flavor pepper, hot flavor pepper. Delicious. And Davy favorite seasoning, paprika. For that bright, rich color and flavor. And look, and here we make the stew sauce. Look at this. All the ingredients are frying up together. Now we add the fresh coconut milk. Let this cook. The beautiful sauce cooking up. We cover it and we leave it for approximately two minutes. Now we'll check the sauce. Ruma of the sauce already. Beautiful. Smells good. We add some tomato paste. This tomato paste comes in a tube. Add approximately one and a half tablespoon to give it that red rich color. And look at this creamy stew sauce. Fry fish. That's the spring coras. Guyana spring coras. It's actually a family of catfish. Delicious fish. One of my favorite fish. Too much because we don't want the fish to break up in the sauce. Yeah. We taste our salt, we add a little extra salt. Beautiful stew. Look at this. Look at this creamy look of the sauce. Maybe we add some extra flavor. That's the Sazan seasoning. Now we add some water mixed with a little bit of coconut milk. And a shake of black pepper. Cover it and we leave the stew to cook for another three to four minutes. Check it. Wow, look at this beautiful spring coras stew or stew spring coras, whatever you want to call it. We add green onion and cilantro for the garnishing. This is the Outside World Entertainment, the Shaker and Davy cooking channel. Give us a thumbs up, share our video. And if you did not subscribe us yet, please do so and we will see you on our next show. Thank you very much and you all have a nice day.